guys, we're on the, uh, I'm going to call it the boardwalk. Uh, even now it's a cement uh, sidewalk here. We are beside the beach. Walking towards the Ryu Palace. Uh, the, these ones here, these rooms here are uh, a part of the Ryu Antilles. They are what they call the Villa Suites. A little bit of an open concept room uh, with a uh, jacuzzi tub sort of in the middle of the room. And they have private access to this particular pool here uh, only for the guests of these particular rooms. I think there's about 36 rooms here. a little bit more here there is a uh, water sports and tours place let's see if we can uh, see some stuff all-inclusive rentals so stand up paddle boarding kayaks until 4 p.m. no reservations no reservations yeah. I like it and it is basically uh, one item per person. There we go. Watch your stuff here. So I'll just show you here. It is right across from this uh, around Aruba Tours little hut. You can talk to them there or you can talk to them over here at the little stand. Let's continue on with our walk. This is the Ryu Palace Hotel. This is the all ages family resort. Down the pathway here between the beach and the hotels. The uh, infinity pool at the Ryu Palace. And yeah. Located just on the uh, the one side of the Ryu Palace, there are a bunch of uh, rooms here that are the timeshares. Uh, so I guess you get your, your, your you buy the timeshare and you can get your one or two weeks every single year. Timeshare uh, and to enter any contract at your own risk. And uh, but what a great spot you would have if you did uh, get a timeshare here in Aruba. We're coming up to uh, one of the great party spots in the evenings. It's uh, the De Palm Pier, the, uh, where you can rent lockers. So you can spend your day at the beach if you don't have a hotel room. This pier has a bunch of uh, stores and shops and there's a fantastic little bar slash nightclub in the evenings. More water sports and um, we're walking ahead here and we're going, I guess, uh, the next hotel here is the Hilton Aruba Caribbean Resort and Casino. Uh, it looks like they have some uh, games set up here for everybody. There's uh, some bocce and some cornhole. The sidewalk does get a lot wider.
over here in front of the Hilton. And the beach is absolutely beautiful as well, uh, all across here on uh, Palm Beach. Looks like they have uh, some uh, canopies here, or cabanas, uh, beside their pool. And let's see what shop is set up here. <laughs> Burgers, hot dogs, coconut water, margarita, Long Island, mojito, pina coladas, mai tais, frozen drinks, smoothies, beers, and more. Nice coconut, fresh, fresh. There we go. They're actually barbecuing here right along the pathway, which is nice. And uh, they've got something huge set up here. It looks like they're going to be doing either a party, and they're all setting up for it right now. Um, there's going to be a big buffet going on here. I'm just I don't know if it's going to be a wedding. Guys, uh, the. Uh, the Hilton here looks like they have a uh, a big convention going on of over 500 people and they've paid to have the beach actually shut down and doing a huge banquet. Next down the path, uh, you have Gilligan's Seafood Shack. Uh, I believe this is all a part of the Hilton Resort. We're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get some uh, video here. This is one of the pools. Let's see how far we can go without getting kicked out. show everybody these beautiful waterfalls. Very, very zen. So everything is a la carte here at the Hilton. But unless you have points you can get comps off of specific things they offer. You can redeem them. But nothing like eating right beside the water at Gilligan's. Euphoria in Greek means taxation. <laughs> I don't know how relaxed I can be worrying about my taxation <laughs> at the spa of all places. Euphoria. Is it? Is it euphoria? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, that makes more spend sense than. Is that a euphoria? Euphoria. Euphoria. <laughs> euphoria. euphoria spa at the Hilton in Aruba. The, the bread basket, and coffee and more. Um, let's see if I can get the menu on here. Uh, breakfast, fresh waffle, uh, 6.25. You can add some blueberries, bananas and strawberries. There's also uh, bacon, ham and eggs and cheese on a bagel for 7.75. Nice little stop here. Looks very, very quaint. The bread basket. So this is the uh, Dazzling Turtles. Uh, it's a little shop here, we're gonna quickly stop in. So they have 
hats here for, you can get some Aruba hats for eight bucks. Um, there's some shirts, one for 25, two for 45. Okay. And then some t-shirts here for $18. Beach towels, $25 for one, two for 45. And then they even have some $10 towels. Some toys and uh, baseball, I'm sorry, footballs and basketballs for the kids. They do have sandals here as well for about $15. Keychains, uh, $5 each, three for 12. If you forget your shorts or lose them as you're swimming in the water, uh, they do have quite a few here, and it looks like they're priced anywhere between uh, 15 to $25. Let's see if I can get that better. Uh, fridge magnets, $4 each, three for 10. Some tank tops and sweaters. Aruba, I'm gonna say Hawaiian shirt. They have those here as well. Continuing our walk here, we just left a souvenir shop and um, I don't know what the next one is here. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out in a second. Again, the weather is absolutely beautiful. We got a light breeze which is warm, so you don't feel like you're you're dying of heat. It's just, but the sun is so intense, you will get burnt just like I did yesterday. I didn't feel hot at all, like, or intense heat, but I got really, really burnt. Um, gotta be very, very careful. Oh, we hear the music pumping. And uh, it looks like there's a little waterfall in the pool. We're gonna show you that in a second here. And we head over here to the, it's, Barcelo. welcome to the Barcelo Aruba. I don't know why I do that voice, but. <laughs> Everybody is so friendly. This is the Barcelo here in Aruba. Looks like they're doing some uh, aerobics in the water. Marcelo Aruba. And the uh, sidewalk here has changed from straight cement to uh, nice like flagstone. It's nice a little different. Yeah, you're running up to a couple of uh, stores here. Uh, coconuts, which is uh, a souvenir shop with uh, some beachwear, obviously souvenirs, and then you have the, an office here for De Palm Tours. Uh, if you want to go uh, into their submarine, which takes you, I believe, about 145 feet under the water to see some shipwrecks, they can book that for you here. They also have uh, the UTV, the off-road safaris, and they have uh, some mid... Uh, some cruises that they do uh, where you can get to go snorkeling uh, and see some of the shipwrecks. There's another pier that you uh, generally get on for uh, 
Pacific excursions, of course, on the water. Um, yeah, this one is a major one and the one that is closest to the Antillas. This also is located right through the main road outside of every front of the, any hotel, the front of the hotels. Uh, if you take a left, it leads you to the downtown area, which is no more than a seven minute walk. So beach lockers are available here all along this uh, path right here. And there are the prices. And I believe you just pay with your card. There's uh, I don't think any money ex is exchanged. Next hotel here on the pathway is the Hyatt Regency. Look at that water slide. And they have a water slide. Let's go see if we can check that out. Oh, beautiful. Couple private cabanas up here too. Very nice. And it is a family friendly resort. Good morning. close to that uh, water slide maybe on our way back we will see that was the height Regency we're just trying to do a quick little walk through all of them as many as we can today they do have uh, what they call this Kadushi juice bar uh, there's smoothies acai bowls ginger shots green smoothies Great deals at this bar. Viv knows. Viv knows all. <laughs> this looks like it's a uh, spice up lunch with uh, tacos and uh, some, uh, I guess, Mexican fare here at the Palms. And again, guys, the beach is right here. I mean, you're 20 feet away from the water the whole way. I guess this looks like it's the other side of the Regency. Oh yes, that is correct. It's part of the Hyatt. Yeah, they call this the Tranquilo Pool. It's a little infinity pool here. Um, possibly an adult only. That's beautiful. Very nice. Palm trees in the middle there. The cabanas on the side. Oops. Sorry about the wind, guys. Um, and there's cabanas all the way along the side there. That's wonderful. There's a great grill. And you can smell it. Oh, oh, cuisina. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, guys. Welcome to Cuisina, my Greek kitchen and beach bar. They've got pork and chicken and lamb and beef kebabs and gyros, vegetable gyros. Uh, there's mezedes, uh, tzatziki hummus feta, Greek dolmades, and tzatziki sauce, olives, papaya hot sauce. Wow. Uh, they are open Monday to Saturday. Bar and snacks, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Guys, that was Cuisina. The Greek kitchen, beach bar, and deli here on Palm Beach. Hey. There's actually a Dunkin' Donuts. Wow. Uh, Scott's Bratz. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Chicken and lobster. Chicken and lobster. Uh, 7.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Early bird specials. Happy hour, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. 9 to 10 um, that looks uh, interesting. I like lobster. Here's the 
here's another place that makes some killer, killer drinks for a very good deal. So on this part of the beach, it gets a little bit busier with a lot of uh, shops that are popping up in front of us here. We love to have a bar right, right on the beach. Hey! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Hey! So guys, that, this is called the beach bar. It has the longest happy hour. Happy hour. Longest happy hour. Two for one, yeah? yeah. Right now, From noon until 10 p.m. every day. Every day. Two for one drink. And You can get all of their menu right there. Eduardo's guys. So here's their whole menu. Hopefully you can read all that. Uh, that's the food menu, and then we have the smoothie bowls and all of the add-ons down at the bottom here. Eduardo's. So. Okay, this is essentially the one of the busiest places here on Palm Beach. So you do the Eduardo special for $11 and it entails uh, a full serve with bananas, strawberries, peanut butter, and the Teladrizzle. <laughs> they have vegan, they have tacos, they have burritos. Um, but I think what they're most known for is their bowls with all the fresh fruit and oats. If you're gonna eat something, on the beach. Nothing like something with fresh fruit. Okay guys, that was uh, Eduardo's. Very, very busy as you can see. It looks wonderful. As I almost tripped on the path. <laughs> Walking down the path, we actually changed from cement to flagstone. Now it, we're uh, heading into the interlock portion of the pathway. Not that it makes much of a difference, uh, but um, it looks, Playa de Linda. we're heading into the Playa de Linda. These are um, like apartment style hotel rooms. They have kitchens and living rooms. And some of them are two and three bedrooms. Let's see if I can get a shot of the whole resort here. Right on the beach here in front of uh, Playa de Linda. Restaurante Azuro. I'll show you the menu if I can grab it. Now, as I said, uh, all these resorts that we've been passing, they are all a la carte. So anybody can come here and eat uh, as long as you pay. So there's the menu here at Azuro Restaurante Italian Fair. And there are a couple, uh, a couple pools here at Playa de Linda. Guys, bring your own water bottle here. The water from the taps is amazing water. Very, very safe. Distilled. Not, not like a, a lot of those other Caribbean islands. Aruba has some of the freshest and cleanest tap water anywhere in all the Caribbean islands. There you go. So bring a reusable bottle, fill it up, take it with you for the day. We, we filled this up about three hours ago. It's still ice cold. Guys, please remember, like, share, 
subscribe, and comment. Let us know if you've been to Aruba. Let us know what you think, where you stayed, and where you think the best hotel is. Is it here on Palm Beach, or do you prefer Eagle Beach? Let us know. Oh, talk about keeping cool. Every place needs these. Oh my lord. So you stand on there, and it sprays all the way up your legs to get all the sand off. What a Woo! smart idea. Keeps you cool, forget the sand. <laughs> oh, that felt so good. Continue our, our walk here uh, outside of the Playa de Linda. Uh, there are some unique souvenir shops. When I say unique, because that's what it's called. <laughs> Unique souvenirs, uh, beachwear. Okay, guys, we're gonna be going into the Juggling Fish, uh, distinctive beachwear and inspired island living open Monday to Saturday from 9:30 till 5, and Sunday from 10 until 4. Um, so, what do we have here? We have some uh, t-shirts, sweaters sunglasses, some bracelets, and in case you lose your sandals in the surf, you have some sandals here. I'm, I'm seeing prices around uh, $45 US for a pair of sandals. But it varies. It does vary. Sunglasses, it looks uh, like uh, anything from $10 to $20 US. And uh, I'll let you know if you stand right here in the store, not only can you see everything around you, but you're standing right in the direct path of the air conditioning. <laughs> Beautiful beach wear. The aquamarine color that they have on everything here. Beautiful. Well, that's a, that's a hat. <laughs> It's a lovely hat. Okay, guys, that was the uh, juggling fish souvenir shop. So, guys, continuing the walkway here outside the Playa de Linda, we uh, took a little brief uh, stop in at that souvenir shop. We're gonna try and get you uh, some prices to uh, show you what things cost here so this way you're not surprised when you do come to Aruba hopefully we can find maybe a little convenience store um, and uh, I can give you some prices on what you know water costs and uh, maybe some general necessities if you are not staying in an all-inclusive This is uh, Carlitos. They have happy hour from three to six. Two mojitos or two Aruba Arriba for $10. A bucket of Carib beers for $18. Uh, you can watch the uh, Bruins uh, take on the Ducks today at uh, 8 p.m. They got the games on, which is great. So if you want to sit down and put your feet in the sand and have a drink, you can come here to Carlitos. Oh, there's Carlitos here. As we 
we keep on walking. So this, uh, this is a literal boardwalk. Oh, yeah, we're, okay, we're, walk, we're leaving the, uh, the pathway between the beach and the hotels on this uh, boardwalk. And it's actual boards. <laughs> we're gonna make our way. And we are now in the parking lot here. hotel is and show you uh, we're going to show you some of the stores here on the main road in between uh, just on the other side of the hotels so we're down here at the Holiday Inn there's a rooftop restaurant down there in the uh, background there called The View follow Viv here a little bit. Just to let you know, if you're looking for some medical assistance, like a clinic or a full-out pharmacy, look down this road. It's not even a five-minute walk. There is one for the public. Uh, if you're looking for a doctor or anything like that, in case of any type of emergency, just to let you know how close it is to all of these hotels. They also have uh, bike rentals here. We're gonna cross the road. Lots of restaurants and shops here. Uh, we highly recommend the Aruba Aloe store. Uh, they make their own aloe here. The aloe plants uh, run, uh, uh, they grow everywhere here. Uh, hey guys, look what we found. We found a mini market. Let's go see if uh, we can uh, see some prices and give you just a, a general rundown of what some basic necessities may cost here in Aruba. Outside of your hotel, which may be uh, relatively expensive. There's uh, quite a selection here. Let me close the door here. 10.50 for a mixed nuts and I believe uh, chips, substance. Doesn't really have a price, but. Um, no prices on those. But there is a huge selection of treats here. And then uh, if you have your own kitchenette, you can get some cereals. Let's see if we can see what a box of Fruit Loops costs. So a box of Fruit Loops here is $9.50 US. This is $20 at the hotel. It's 35 or was it 37 It was $37.50 and yeah. here it's 20 $20. That's okay, the, uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to quickly show you what the prices are here. They have them nicely labeled. So $1.50 for a can of Coke. Uh, beers, uh, the Balashi local beer, two, uh, $2.65, Bud Light, $3.00, Heineken, $2.95. They have quite a selection of beers here. Three seventy-five, three to I guess two ninety-five. This Bavaria, Bavaria, which is a zero point zero beer, as well as for two two twenty-five. 
So if you wanted to make your own sandwiches here, uh, the salami there's uh, six dollars and fifty cents. Uh, that one there is eight fifty. Uh, cheese and meat. I don't know what meat that is. Uh, I gotta tell you the truth. It doesn't look that appetizing, but that's eight dollars, and that's fifty percent off right now. You can get some butter, uh, some assorted cheeses here. And they obviously have all of the selections of waters. And that is probably the smallest container of Hagen dazs ice cream I have ever seen in my life. I've seen these. One second here. Let me see if I can grab one there. And um, I cannot see any prices on those. Oh, look, they have, uh, they need some cooking essential. And I said they do, they do sell staples here, so they have some uh, some bread, some spam, cans of tuna, some mayo, uh, if you want to make some pasta, some kids' uh, foods as well. This is going to be, of course, if you have a, a coffees, the kitchen ahead. Jams and uh, bug sprays. I haven't seen any bugs, but they have bug sprays. A lot of the rooms here do have a uh, uh, washer and dryer. So you got some downy uh, fabric softener there. I don't see any actual laundry soap, but. I'm sure it's somewhere. They probably have it here somewhere. But we're, we're coming off on the other end, so. Okay, we're gonna go through the back door here. let you know guys it's about 10 to 1 in the afternoon yeah. and uh, it seems like a lot of the stores are closed uh, for uh, siesta take an afternoon nap when it's just hot outside of course that's what I would want to do too I think we're on the stage right now gives uh, I guess performing for everybody <laughs> <laughs> And there's a familiar uh, chain restaurant, TGI Fridays. Uh, and all those shoes as well. Sunset Shack where they uh, sell some uh, beach wear. Viv is taking us uh, down the little back alleys here to show us uh, some stuff maybe that you don't see from the road. <coughs> oh, this is all souvenir shops back here. This is uh, another souvenir shop, Aruba Forever. So guys, I love this deal here. It's a hat and a shirt. You get one for 25 or two for 40. I, I always love these. You, you buy them for your friends back home. You give one person a hat, the other person the shirt. You're saving money. An assortment of I need a tan. <laughs> an assortment of souvenirs here. This is really you can nice. get a picture frame for twelve dollars. Picture frame for twelve dollars there. Uh, there's uh, long shot glasses here, one for four dollars. The prices are really reasonable. I thought uh, it would have been a lot more expensive here in the touristy shops. Yeah. Kids it's shirts here, one for fifteen, uh, two for twenty-five. Uh, they have other kids shirts, uh, one for 12. So guys, it looks like uh, that's where I'm going to be ending our vlog today. Uh, we're here at the Aruba Forever souvenir shop. Uh, my battery's dying, so... Uh, we're going to leave that off here. Uh, Viv is inside, um, hopefully buying me a gift. We'll see. Um, 
Again, guys, thank you for watching. We do appreciate it. Uh, hit that thumbs up button, uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you like these videos here that we're telling you what the prices are in these uh, souvenir shops and uh, in these local shops, let us know and we'll continue doing that.